And we are back. And in today's video, we're gonna take a look at the DJI Neo. Now, this will be my first impressions video. I've had this for a little while. However, I hadn't got the chance to do any videos on it. And I am gonna spare you the unboxing because I'm pretty sure you've seen that many times over. So uh, we're gonna do a lot of tracking today. We're gonna to actually take a look at some of the intelligent features. Um, and also, it's been reported that the Neo doesn't have the greatest image quality, um, but I do have some filters that uh, Freewell sent me, and we're gonna test these out also just to see if it makes it a little, uh, you know, better. So if you guys just stick around, uh, we'll get right into it. All right, so we're all set up and we're good to go. So. All right, so I'm going to head over to the park, to the playground, and see uh, what we can do there. We're going to test out the tracking, see how good the Neo is with tracking, and then also uh, we're going to test out the filters. Now I'm going about uh, 11, 15, about 15 miles per hour right now, and it's keeping up pretty good. Also got the Action 5 going on the rear here to get a different perspective. So you can see what the drone is doing. All right, we're gonna do, go around here, see how well it follows me up here on the sidewalk. All right, it's pretty good. It's a little breezy here, just a little bit. And it's, probably, it's following pretty good. And let's speed it up just a little. All right, it's keeping up. About 13, 15 miles per hour. All right. All right, it lost me for a second, but it reacquired. And we're off. Uh oh. Uh oh. Dog. Morning. Yeah, I was just worried if that dog was going to leap and uh, try to bite the Neo, but it was tame. It was pretty good. All right, I'm going to try from here. Let's go through here, go through the playground. All right, pretty good. All right, it's keeping up, it's keeping up. Did it lose me? No, almost. All right, so what we're gonna do right now, I'm going to test out the ND filters and uh, we're gonna go down this one path here and I'm gonna do it twice, once with ND filters and once without. And I'm gonna compare the two videos just to see if there's any improvement. All right, so let's go. Now it's a few trees, this is uh, tree covered. And uh, let's see if the, this, the Neo can avoid some of these branches down here, which has been doing a pretty good job so far. So I don't doubt that it, you know, could handle it. All 
All right, got some low hanging branches there. All right. It's not very big path or long path. Let's see here. All right, pretty good. And this is without indie filters. Now, as we're going past the trees and all that, uh, notice the lack of motion blur. You can look at the leaves, the branches. There's no motion blur. All right, so, all right, pretty good. All right, I'm doing about 13. I right, was about to hit a branch. Almost, just missed it. There's some low lane branches. It avoided it. Okay. Trying to keep an eye on the foot on the uh, feed here, and also uh, trying to keep track of where I'm going too. Let's get off the curb. All right, so I think 15 miles per hour is about the max. I think that's what it's rated to go anyway when it's tracking 15 miles per hour. Wish that could be a little bit faster. I don't know if they can do that with a firmware update to increase it or something, but uh, 15 miles per hour, especially if you're riding a bike, um, that's not pretty, that's not fast at all. All right, so we're back. I have an ND8 on the Neo. We're gonna take the same path, and uh, after that, we'll compare the two videos to see if there's any improvement. All right, so I have an ND8 on here because we will be going through like dark areas. So I didn't want it to be, uh, the footage look too dark. It might not be enough for the lighter areas, but we'll still see. All right, so, so far it's keeping up pretty good. Now I also wanna thank uh, Freewell for sending out these Indy filters to me. They sent me two packs. They sent me an Indy PL fil filter set and also an Indy filter set. And in both sets, you get uh, an ND8, uh, 16, and a 32. And you also get uh, a little metal piece that you, that has a little, that has adhesive on it. And you stick it to the frame of the camera. And then it's a magnetic piece. And then that's how you uh, attach the filters. You attach the magnetic filters to that magnetic piece on the camera and it works pretty well. All right, so let me know if you no notice any motion blur. I'm gonna pause it right here. All right. Now I've done plenty of indie filter videos and we all know that indie filters are not supposed to work magic. However, it just improves the video by making it look a little bit more natural. Now, sometimes you may get a, like a color shift, temperature shift in your footage. However, um, like I said, it doesn't work magic. If your footage is garbage, it's not gonna fix it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to go through here, pause it here, see if you see any motion blur. All right, so I had to stop uh, because 
I ran out of space on the Neo and uh, I forgot that I had some other stuff on the Neo. And that's one of the downsides to uh, not having an SD card slot in here, the ability to uh, expand the, the memory because you run out of uh, space. You only get 22 gigs, I believe. So we're back on track and I have the ND filter on here. And just let me know. I'll put them side by side and we'll see. All right, so we're back. We're gonna test out some of the uh, intelligent features on here. So I had it set up for a circle right now. So uh, what I'm gonna do is use the app. I'm just gonna press start. And it should start recording and doing its circle. And it's complete. And when it's complete, it should come back to me. All right. And there we go. All right. So I also want to say, if you are enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up because this does help YouTube push it out to more people who are searching for content just like this. So I do have an Indy 16 on here right now because we are in the brighter area here. So uh, let me know how the footage looks. All right. Um, you can shuffle through the modes here and you can also do it on the app. So right now I'm gonna try it on here and I'm gonna just do a rocket, hold it down. And it should just shoot straight up in the air, right over top of me. It's in position. Now it's recording. And I got a hawk over here just looking. I have a hawk over here just scoping out. So I'm gonna do this rocket a little bit higher and see what it looks like. And it comes right back to me, put my hand out, and we're good. All right, so we're gonna change the settings here. And with the rocket, we're gonna change it max height. We're gonna change it to 33 feet. And we're gonna do a rotation. All right, let's start it with the control this time. All right, now it's getting into position. And it's doing a little rotation. Oh, I kind of like this shot here. That's cool. I'm curious to how, how the footage looks with the stabilization. Cause I'm looking here on the screen and it's a little wobbly, but I'm pretty sure with the stabilization, the EIS, it will look uh, pretty good. All right, so let's try the, so I'm gonna be shuffling back and forth between the button on the drone and also the controller. So uh, let's see, let's try the droney. I'm clear this direction. So we're gonna try the droney. And with the droney, we're going to set as far as I can go and rise and flat. No, I'm just gonna rise because I do have some stuff behind me or in front of me right now. All right, so let's start the droney. All right, so it doesn't go too far out and it comes back to you while it's still recording. I believe so. Yeah, so you can use both parts of the droney. And it's good for, I think you can edit it so it look like a boomerang. 
All right, so we did the droney, we did the rocket, we did the circle. Let's try that, actually. All right, so the spotlight, it just remains stationary while the camera just follows you around. And that's it, it doesn't go anywhere. So if you are a solo creator, not the best shot here. If you're a solo creator, you can do some things while you're uh, talking to the camera and walk around. Um, so that's pretty useful. We're also gonna do the directional track, which it should stay in front of you, but from my experience, um, it doesn't stay in front of you that good, but uh, let's check it out. All right, so it's in front of me. So if I rotate, it should rotate right in front of me again. If it swings around, right now, it's not really, I guess it tracks you parallel if you walk parallel. I'm moving out of frame here. Now, if I face it, does it move backwards? Okay, so it's moving backwards. So I think it finds the optimal, I don't know if it finds the optimal angle to track you from, but I would like, if you can see this, I would like to use this sometimes as a vlog, vlog camera, and you know, just walk around and film like this. All right, so now it's following me to the, this way, parallel. And if I walk this way, it will follow me. All right, so if you stay still, if you stand still for a few seconds, it's supposed to come back to you. That way you can land it. All right, so here it comes. And there we go. All right, and one last thing I want to do I want to go into the settings. I want to go into the custom, you know, intelligent mode here, and I want to switch it to uh, boomerang. All right, so that's how you can switch it. It doesn't have enough slots on here on the drone to accommodate all the features. So within the custom, uh, you can switch between helix, boomerang, and directional track. I might not have enough room, hopefully. Huh, okay. Yeah, we do. Now it should come back to me. Hopefully I got my mic still going. Yep. All right, let's switch over to Helix. Go back into uh, custom settings here, and then do the Helix. And let's see what that's all about. Three, two, one. I didn't really check the parameters on the helix, so hopefully it's not too large to where it'll run into these trees over here. Huh? Everything's set close, so it's good. All right, so first impressions, uh, not bad. Not bad. The tracking is very good. Uh, it lost me a couple times um, when I was out here tracking, uh, but it, you know, it for the most part it sticks with you and it tracks pretty much the same path that you're you're walking or riding or something like that. Now the only thing that's really holding this back from being a really really good drone is the um, image quality, which I think will improve over time. I know this is the first iteration of this and you know how DJI does they will put out like a pro or something like that and also maybe uh, since this is like 135 grams uh, they have a lot of room to put uh, a lot of things on here like you know obstacle avoidance or something like that if they wanted to later on I'm pretty sure within like another six months uh, we'll have another you know Neo 2 or Neo Pro or something like that with a better camera and a little bit more features on here also, I want to thank Freewell for sending out these indie filters. 
Uh, let me know if there's any difference in the video that you saw. Um, hopefully it makes it look a little bit more pleasing to the eye. And like I said earlier, it doesn't work miracles, but it could improve the footage maybe a little bit. And if you are interested in getting uh, these packs here, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can go ahead and check it out. So if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you enjoy drone and other cool tech reviews, tips, tricks, and tutorials, please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell for future content. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.